Hello guys, my name is Umair Khan and welcome to the pen testing Amazon Web Services series. Let's get started. By the end of this session, you will know what is Kali Linux, from where you can download it and how you can install it. So what is Kali Linux? Kali is Linux based operating system designed specifically for penetration testing and digital forensics. It comes preloaded with all the necessary tools. It is maintained and funded by Offensive Security. So let's see how we can download Kali Linux. So you can download Kali Linux ISO from here and you can download it using torrent also. Uh, let's see which other devices support Kali Linux. Alright. So Kali Linux is supported by the variety of devices. Let's check its VMware and VirtualBox images. So you can download the OVA file here and install it uh, in your VMware and you can also download image file for VirtualBox and same goes for Hyper-V. Now let's see how we can install Kali Linux. So I am using VMware, so create on file, then new virtual machine, select the latest workstation version. Now select the ISO file that you have downloaded from the Kali Linux portal. So I have Kali Linux 2019, QS code differ. Now select Linux uh, from the operating system and from the distribution select Debian 6, 64 bit version since I have a 64 bit uh, version ISO. And then click on next, give your virtual machine a name and also select the location where you want to save your virtual machine and then click on next. Give the number of processor based on the configuration you have on your laptop. I'm giving two processors each, then I'm giving 2GB RAM. I'm using NAT as network and then just clicking next next for the recommended uh, option. Uh, for the hard disk, uh, let's Selected dynamically allocated hard disk. So I will not uh, checkbox allocate all the disk, disk space now. Uh, let's give 30 GB to this. Since we are going to install Cloud Code framework uh, in the future videos, and click on finish. Uh, let's power on this machine. So I'm gonna select graphical install since it's easier for the beginners. Let's wait for the machine to boot up. Okay, so I'm gonna select English. You can select you can select your desired language here and click on continue. Then select your country keyboard format and let it scan for the hardware and the necessary components from the ISO. So it is going to detect the hardware now, the Ethernet adapter. and it's using DHCP to configure the network. So I do not have config, I do not have DHCP service enabled. So this one is going to fail, but it could uh, pass for you guys. So after this is finished, I'm going to select that I'm going to uh, configure network later, but you do not necessarily need, uh, need to do that if you are getting the IP address from the DHCP server. So I'm going to click continue here and I will select uh, do not configure the network at this time. And click on continue. Uh, give host name, give uh, the password to your machine. And make sure the passwords match, click on continue, select the timeline.
it's setting up the partition so just click on continue continue and continue now let's write all the changes to the disk select select yes click on continue so this uh, part is going to take a, lo a lot of time for you guys but with the magic of editing i have doubled or tripled the speed of this video and since it is showing that the installation is being done very fast so it's going to take a minute for me but it could take uh, like 30 minutes for you depending on the speed of your system and the number of CPUs and RAM you have given to this machine. So we are almost done with the installation part. Let's configure. Let's select no and uh, click continue. So to keep it easy, I have uh, not really done any customization uh, in the installation steps and we don't even need it for our lab scenarios. So it ins it's installing the bootloader now and once this is done, the machine is going to reboot. Let's give it a minute, click on yes, continue. Select Dev SCA and click on continue. And we are done with the installation. So now the machine is uh, going to re restart. So you, uh, I have used VMware here. You can even use a virtual box which is a free software from Oracle and it also requires very less space. VMware is very heavy for your system and if you are having limited resources, limited RAM, limited CPUs, uh, it is going to uh, make your system slow. We are almost done with the installation part and the machine is rebooting now. Let's select Kali Linux here. So if you have dual boot, it's going to give the operating system names there. Okay, let's enter the password and username and click on login. Okay, so we have finished uh, the Kali Linux installation. So guys, uh, thank you for watching this video and all the links are mentioned in the description. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe and share. So thank you for watching. You guys are awesome.